I want you to travel back in time with me to 1998 when a young, handsome, naive, handsome <laughs> young guy goes to Canal Street, that land of hope and glory holes. <laughs> for the first time and finds himself stood out on the street going don't shut that door I am gay <laughs> only been out three weeks and I'm keen to suck on that nourishing teat of Canal Street but here am I stood on that gaudy thoroughfare having a nightmare getting into a club a bitchy creature resembling 80s pop star Sunita, all day glow with big hair, tells me that I'm too much of a macho man to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have been here before. Yes, it was on a Saturday night. Yes, I do know it's gay, so am I bloody let me in! Okay, so... I only mince lightly when riled, and <laughs> a skinny vest on this chest would revile even the most desperate, but I'm hardly a card-carrying lad, a football-playing chav, or a rugged-playing habit, all from a public school. In fact, stepping out of the poem just for a moment, this is outside of the poem, this is in the poem, <laughs> outside of the poem, um, I did once get a school report for sport which said, he tries hard, but is naturally useless. <laughs> Back out again. I may have been naturally useless at sport. I wasn't stupid. I stopped trying. <laughs> On a scale of camp, somewhere in the middle is a confusing place to be. The closet door may open more than a jar, but you don't register a blip on anyone's gaydar. <laughs>